We've made it to Tuesday. We have a much simpler day, but still just as effective. We're gonna be doing some back squats, some front squats, and then a workout with some running and thrusters. Okay, so for the back squat, you're gonna set up by grabbing the bar about thumb distance from the knurling, wrap your hands around the bar, duck underneath, put it on the meaty part of your traps, stand up, step back, set your feet for your squat about shoulder width, toes out slightly, brace your core by taking a deep breath, Push the hips back and the knees out. Get the hip crease below the knees. Stand up all the way and you can exhale once you know you've made the lift, okay? So breath, hips back, knees out, squat, stand, and then you can walk the bar in, set it down, take a step out. Once we finish our back squats, we're gonna go right into front squats. So same idea, thumb distance from the knurling, grab the bar. This time you're walking your throat all the way into the bar. Pop the elbows up as high as you can, even if you have to roll the bar into your fingertips. Stand up, step back, same stance with the feet, same deep breath to brace the core. Hips back, knees out. Now we're gonna focus on driving the elbows up as we stand up out of that squat. Deep breath, squat, elbows up to keep the chest up, and then you can walk it in to the rig. Cool, so we've done our back squats, we've done our front squats, and now we're gonna get into our workout, which is gonna be running and thrusters, okay? So run, 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 you come back in, you have your barbell, you're gonna clean it up to the front rack position we were in for our front squats. You're gonna do that same front squat. As you stand, use your hips to start jumping that weight up overhead, elbows come in, right back into that squat, right back into that press, okay? Lots of legs, enjoy.